What is going on YouTube? BSC Spear here back with another Destiny video and in today's video we are continuing our series of Lost Exotics where we're showing all the newer guardians of the game how to get some of the exotics from years 1 and 2 uh, that can't be acquired through 3 of coins, RNG, uh, exotic engrams, and Xur will never sell these weapons. Uh, in the last video we covered the Black Spindle exotic sniper rifle. If you guys want to check out that guide, uh, you can click the box at the top of the screen now. In this video, however, we're talking about the Touch of Malice. Uh, Touch of Malice is an exotic scout rifle uh, that released with the Taken King expansion. This is definitely one of the weirdest looking guns in the game uh, with one of the most interesting uh, perks on it. So uh, we're going to cover for you guys exactly every step needed to get this gun. Before we do though, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone that's subscribed to this channel in the past two months. Uh, you guys are fantastic. We broke another milestone uh, just yesterday. We broke 3,000 subs on this channel and that's just fantastic. So thank you so much guys. Welcome to the Spear Squad. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these kind of videos. Uh, subscribe to the Spear Squad and welcome to the family. Uh, as always, if you guys enjoy this video, uh, drop a like and it's truly appreciated. Hit subscribe if you're new here and let's get started with how to get the Touch of Malice in Year 3. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is you need to get your hands on a calcified fragment. Calcified fragments uh, are scattered all throughout the Dreadnought. There's 50 of them in total. Uh, they're found in chests throughout the Dreadnought, in patrol mode, strikes, uh, regicide story missions, and even within the raid. Uh, there's 50 of them in total. Uh, just pick up one of them and then go talk to Eris Morn and she'll give you the first quest step. The first quest step is called a Shattered Pass. Uh, in which you have to collect five more calcified fragments. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a little sidebar and show you guys a method and tool that I use to find uh, all the calcified fragments because I'm not going to make a separate video on how to find all of them because that would take a while and it's been done uh, numerous times. So I'm going to show you what I do in order to find which ones I need and also show you how, guys, how you can keep track on which fragments you have per character. I use a website called destinycalcifiedfragments.com. Uh, just Google search it, Destiny Calcified Fragments. It should be the first thing that pops up. Uh, next, once you open up the website, it's going to have you enter in your gamer tag and then whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation, and then it'll go ahead and pull your stats on which fragments you have. Looking at my stats on PlayStation, you can see I have 49 out of the 50. Um, each emblem you see here is represented by a different character. So if you have different emblems for each of your characters, like I have a Hunter, a Titan, and a Warlock, uh, that way you can track which Calcify Fragments you still need uh, for each character. Um, and you can see here, I list all of the fragments and on the right where it says details and video, it even has links uh, to show you exactly where to go to get all of these fragments. This is definitely the best uh, tool that's out there in order for helping you find all 50 of the calcified fragments. Uh, now for this first quest part, you only need five more to make a total of six, and then you can move on to the next quest step. Now in order to get the next quest to show up, however, you do have to collect 15 total calcified fragments. Uh, so once you get your six, uh, that quest line will actually go cold. We'll go ahead and keep uh, getting busy collecting these fragments as it's going to help you in the long run. Once you collect 15 of the calcified fragments, the next quest line will open up called Hunger Pangs. In this, you head into the story mission Promethean Code, and you have to kill a specific Taken Centurion uh, at the very bottom of the salt mine. Uh, this will show up on your director as a uh, modified story mission, and so once you complete this, uh, you'll get the next quest step. So the next quest step actually won't show up until you step foot in the King's Fall Raid. Uh, if you've never been in the King's Fall Raid, what I would suggest is... Uh, once you first go into the raid, go ahead and leave and talk to Eris Morn where you can pick up the next quest step because it's going to have you defeat the bosses within the raid. 
this part of the quest is called the old hunger basically in this part of the quest uh, as you defeat the bosses throughout the raid you'll get certain drops and once you collect all three of them uh, you can proceed with the quest steps the uh, ravenous blade will drop from the war priest the shroud of Iryut will drop from the sisters encounter and the ravenous heart will drop from oryx now it should be noted that uh, as long as you have this quest step active uh, as soon as you kill them you will get the drop regardless that's a guaranteed drop so there's no rng involved so once you gather all three materials from the king's fall raid head back to the tower to talk to eris once again and she's going to have you form the frame uh, to do this she's going to require you to bring her 25 worm spore 50 weapon parts and a whopping 50 hatting flakes uh, so in case you guys thought grinding or hadium flakes for your sword was bad, uh, just wait till you have to do this also. If you guys need a good farming method for hadium flakes, uh, go ahead and check out my video uh, where I show you guys how to grind for hadium flakes for your sword uh, and just use the same method uh, to grind for your 50 hadium flakes here. Once you bring her all the materials, uh, she will successfully form the frame and the, in order to get the next quest step you actually have to collect some more calcified fragments uh, so yeah you guys kind of see a trend here definitely keep picking up calcified fragments if you find yourself bored you have nothing else to do spend that time go get your fragments get this gun get it out of the way so pick up a total of 30 and form the frame and then you'll get the next quest step available so once you've collected 30 calcified fragments, Hunger Pangs is back. Uh, this quest step becomes available and it has you go into a level 40, uh, the Undying Mind Strike. There's a specific target that you're going to want to kill, it's at the end of the mission. Uh, you don't even have to finish the strike, just wait till this enemy spawns in, keep damaging the boss, uh, kill him and you'll get an item called Essence of the Feast. Turn back to Eris Morn to continue on with the quest. Once you have Essence of the Feast and you return back to Eris Morn, the final quest step will show up only after you collect more calcified fragments. So in total, uh, you need 45 out of the 50 calcified fragments. So like I said, uh, use the method I showed you earlier. Use that tool. Uh, that's going to help you keep track and help you to find all these fragments extremely quickly. So once you do get 45, the quest will open up. Good luck. The quest has you complete the story mission, Fear's Embrace, which is on Phobos on Mars. Uh, this is a, a light 270 version of the original story mission, so it is slightly harder. More enemies, more shields. Now you don't have to actually complete the mission. All you have to do, uh, just like the, uh, the last part with the strike, is you have to kill a specific enemy that spawns in. Uh, this enemy spawns in in the very last room where you fight face the echo of oryx uh, and it spawns in this little doorway right here uh, at the main entrance uh, so once you get his health down to about half that's when the wizard spawns in that you have to kill it should also be noted just like the last uh, part of the quest you don't have to finish this story mission all you have to do is kill the wizard and once you get the essence of the feast you can return back to Eris Morn to claim your prize. Alright guys, well that about does it for getting the Touch of Malice. Uh, now, the quest steps are a bit jumbled um, with you know quest lines coming in and out based on the fragments you have. So what you could do is you could actually uh, just go out of your way and get all 45 calcified fragments. And then, uh, and then just do the quest steps as they show up. Um, that might actually be easier um, and more more time efficient. So, uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, we've got another lost exotic down, and I'm really excited because uh, with Age of Triumph, they've actually got uh, exotic ornaments coming for the Touch of Malice, as well as Necrochasm, Vex Mythoclast, and No Land Beyond. So it's going to be exciting to see. Definitely get your hands on the Touch of Malice. Uh, that way, once the Age of Triumph drops, you guys can pick up the ornament for it. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm BSD Spear. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.